We have been covering now three weekends of Freedom March protests in Melbourne. Freedom! 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 I'm sick of um, Daniel Andrew. <laughs> So you're real news? We're real news. We are here in peace. Get out of your house and come join us. And it has become very evident that the basic human right of the freedom of expression in the state of Victoria has become a victim of a very deliberate and coordinated attack. Yes, I'm, I'm literally being Just for holding a sign. That's not inciting a riot. That's not inciting anything. We're just enjoying a picnic. And then, and then this. And the hitman hired to deliver this blow to put our beloved state in an induced coma is none other than our Premier, Dan Andrews. This is not about human rights, it's about human life. While Dan Andrews was elected by the Victorian people, it has come to the attention of many in our state that he is not in fact serving the needs of those very people who have elected him. He is a man with a very interesting set of friends and an even more interesting history. Um, for deaths uh, from coronavirus, anyone who's a confirmed case who dies is, is classified uh, amongst um, coronavirus deaths. Um, it's not definitive about whether they've died with or from coronavirus. This Chief Health Officer, which is part of this legislation, is this one person who holds all the power over 6.4 million people in the state of Victoria. Mr Andrews was responsible for passing in the piece of legislation known as the Public Safety and Wellbeing Act of 2008. Now, this is the very act that has enabled him to declare a state of emergency, which we have now had extended thanks to our lovely crossbenchers who chose not to listen to their electorate and do what they wanted to anyway and give him another six months of these unprecedented powers. So let me remind you of some of the things that have happened since Dan Andrews brought in the state of emergency. The major news today that masks are now mandatory in Victoria. Anyone who goes out the house without a mask will face a $200 fine. Healthy people are being warned against using face masks. Experts fear incorrect use could lead to more infection. There have been wild scenes at anti-lockdown protests. One <laughs> by one. <laughs> Protesters were knocked to the ground and arrested. Today there was an inquiry in uh, Victoria about hotel quarantine. What does Daniel Andrews have to do when he just tells an outright lie about the Defence Forces? They did knock you back on a request for aerial Apparently, support. yeah. I think it related to drones. I think Hearing that... new coronavirus numbers in Victoria. These are extraordinary figures. It is being reported. When we had an anomaly, there were 41 deaths. We were told that is because a number of deaths in aged care uh, hadn't been reported properly. Uh, the accusation is going to be that the state government is beginning to manipulate these numbers to suit the narrative of what the story of the day is. Now, is it a coincidence? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm not here to say what you should think, whether you should support these protesters or you should not support these protesters, whether you think that they're all tinfoil wearing conspiracy theorists or whether you think that they're doing the right thing. That is not the point of what I am trying to say. The message that I am trying to convey to you is this. Why are these small band of freedom marchers, as they call themselves, being met with such an aggression by the police force? Why is Mr. Andrews so obsessed with quashing dissent? The explanation might be that in the last three years, he's visited China over 25 times. Now let's talk about censorship. Why is there so much censorship? We all know how censorship is becoming a very, very big issue and a big topic. I mean, we only saw a few weeks ago, I mean, pregnant woman uh, getting uh, arrested, police coming into her home and arresting her for putting a post about um, organising a protest, encouraging people to attend a protest. What we're seeing very much looks like the way the Chinese deal with their citizens, where you are not allowed to speak against the government, which leads me to a very important matter. As you know, the, this week, the Omnibus Act, which will give him even more powers, it means if you post something on Facebook, if you agree with a post, maybe you might even like a post or comment on a post that someone has said something against Mr. Andrews himself, or encouraging you perhaps to attend a protest, then you can be detained without charge and for any duration of time. Where will this end? When will the people of Victoria say enough is enough? But we still live in a democracy. Well, actually, we, know we don't live in a democracy in Victoria. 
we need to support the, the right of those to speak out. We all have the right to disagree with our leaders. We do not want to be China. We do not consent to being China. Please, if you care about democracy, if you care about free speech in media, I ask you to share this video and to get this message out to as many people as possible. And if